to another episode of How to Pass the Math FSA. This is the fifth grade edition. I'm glad you're here. You might be a student, you might be a parent of a fifth grader, or you might be a teacher or tutor of a fifth grader. I don't know, but I'm glad that you're here. Um, today, we're going to be working on this standard. It is maths. Dot. Uh, 5.mbt.1.2. Sorry, I had a brain blank there. Um, this is lesson 5 today, and we're going to be working with powers of 10. I have absolute power. Um, so, without further ado, let me teach ya. Alright, everybody, so before we begin with example 1, let me teach you this real quick. So when you multiply by a power of 10, you are making your number bigger. You're making it larger, greater. So you're shifting your decimal point to the right. That's right, to the right, because you're making it bigger. That's right, to the right. You're making it bigger. When you are dividing by a power of 10, you're making it smaller. To the left, to the left, everything you own in your box to the left. You're making something smaller, okay? So, let's move on. Example one, what is 634 thousandths times 10 to the second power? So, because we are multiplying by 10 to the second power, we are making our number bigger. So we are moving it, that's right, to the right two times because our power is two so two jumps one two there's where our decimal point is so 63 and four tenths in your equation editor tool you would write six three point four you'd be finished okay example two what is the value of the missing exponent in the expression 427 divided by power of 10 to what exponent equals 42 and 7 tenths. So here is another equation editor item. Let me make it a little bit bigger for you. I'm trying to figure out what goes inside our unknown box. Okay, well we said when we are dividing by a power of 10, we are making it smaller. So if our decimal point was here, and now we're making it smaller, and now it's here, how many jumps did we do? We did one jump to the left, to the left. So it would be divided by 10 to the power of 1. However, we're not going to put 10 to the power of 1. It says what is the value of the missing exponent? The value is uno. You press 1. Just like the card game. <laughs> All right. Example 3. Which statement is equivalent to multiplying a number by 10 to the second power. When you multiply a number by 10 to the second power, you are multiplying by 10. Bella, shh, it's my dog shaking. Um, multiplying by 10 two times. So that's what you're doing. So are you adding 10 two times? No. Are you adding ten, 2 10 times? No. Are you multiplying by 10 2 times? Yes. Are you multiplying by 2 10 times? No, we're multiplying by 10 2 times. Don't get confused. Read it carefully. All right, example 4. Ellie multiplies and divides original numbers by powers of 10 to create new numbers. So here are her original numbers. Then she multiplies by power of 10 and divides. <clears throat> okay. Which original numbers were multiplied by 10 to the third power to create new numbers? So I need to look at my original numbers and see which ones have been increased a thousand times by 10 to the third power. So three place values. So I have 645 my decimal is right here. Now I'm going three places to the right to make it bigger. That's right to the right. So one, two, three, zero, zero, zero. This one only has two zeros, so it can't be 645. Eight thousandths. 
One, two, three becomes eight. Yes, that is right. Let's see, 200 going down to two tenths would be dividing by a power of 10. So we can automatically eliminate that one. Seven and 80 one hundredths. One, two, three. That's what we got, 7,810. 700. Here's our decimal. One, two, three. One, two, three. That would be 700,000. Her new number was 70,000. That's not right. And then for the last one, 38 and 2 tenths is being divided by a power of 10. So we can eliminate that. So just the second one and the fourth one. Remember, you have to get both to receive full credit. All right, last one. Example five. When dividing a number by 10 to the third power, explain how the decimal point is moved. Dividing a number by 10 to the third. So when we are dividing a number by 10 to the third power, we are making it smaller, going to the left. So explain how the decimal point is moved. The decimal point is moved uno, dos, tres places to the right. So, when, this is my open response item, when dividing a number by, remember to write in complete sentences, when dividing a number by 10 to the third power, the, the point of the decimal, I forgot the word decimal, the decimal point is shifted or moved three times to the left, period. Don't forget to start with a capital letter when you're writing this too. That's it. Before I leave you today, here is your motivational message. Be the best version of you. Yeah, I'm talking about you, okay? Is being lazy awesome? No. Is being grumpy awesome? No. Okay? You should be the best version of you all the time. That does not mean to be perfect because nobody is perfect. But stop being a punk, man. And just wake up and come to school and do what you gotta do. Go to work and do what you gotta do. Be the best version of you. Let's see who you really are. You're probably really funny, really nice and kind and really hardworking if you can just pull that person out. So that's what I want to see. You got this. Be the best version of you. Peace.